What'd you say? Say it again. That's what I thought. <laughs> Matt, that's for the beer. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna do anything. I was just gonna, just gonna pet him. Listen up! This weekend, something major is happening. One of boxing's biggest superstars is heading to the ring, and he's gonna put his belt on the line. Canelo versus Charlo is one of the biggest fights of the entire year, so you know how to partner up with DraftKings to bring you some sweet deals. That's right. Anyone who bets just five dollars on this weekend's fights, boom! Instantly, you get two hundred dollars in bonus bets. Now, if sports betting is still not available in your state. No worries. You can still join in on all the excitement using DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where you can snag huge cash prizes. Be sure to check out all the ways that DraftKings is making this weekend's event even more epic with live odds, fight props and more. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers who use my promo code off the ranch and bet just $5 on any wager will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code off the ranch only at DraftKings. The crown is yours. Good morning, people. Good morning, Pearl. Man, Pearl's been one of my best friends out here on the resort. She's a hard worker, she doesn't quit, and she really gets a lot of dirt done. She got dumps like a truck too, which is not a bad thing. Oh, we got a new friend out here on the resort. Look at this mean machine. The Rock Commander. Golly, this is a big old deal here. So this thing's gonna command some rocks real good. This is a drill, a huge drill, because right here, we need to go down this hill, actually starting up right behind Pearl right there, we need it to start going down because all of this needs to come down and all of this is rock, hard rock. So we were trying to figure out the best way to get through it. Turns out there is no good way to get through it. And by good, I mean easy. Every way is super hard, which means super expensive. Exhibit A, I bought this, $900,000. Just kidding, I hired somebody and we're renting it. So this is a drill. A dude is gonna come out here today and start drilling holes down in here because we are gonna put dynamite in the ground. Turns out dynamite is the cheapest way to do it. They were like, here's what we can do, Matt. We can get a rock grinder to come in here, big machine that just makes a bunch of passes and just grinds it down slowly but surely. Or we can get a big hammer on the end of an excavator. It's basically like a jackhammer. It just goes dung, 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 dung and it'll just chip through that rock. It would take a while. Or we can just drill holes in there, put dynamite in and explode it. And I was like, what's the cheapest? And they were like, exploding. I was like, that happens to be the most fun too. So here we go. Hired this dude and he's gonna drill us some holes. What's interesting, so down there we need to go down a little bit. We need to come down like eight feet, which is not a little bit, eight feet through rock. It's a lot. So we're gonna drill down like eight feet. Up here we need to come down like, more like 15 feet and up here, like 20 feet. This guy's gonna drill a 20 foot deep hole that they're gonna stuff with dynamite and then boom. And ideally, it just loosens up everything. It sounds like not ideally. The guy seems pretty confident that it just turns all of the solid rock into gravel. And then we come through with skid steers and backhoes and dozers and it just pushes all right out like we had a big gravel pit. So that's the plan anyway. It's super expensive to rent this thing, get him to drill for several days, and then get the explosive license guys to come out here and put the explosives down in the hole. So anyway, buy some merch, uh, support our sponsors. They're supporting us and we need it right now. So this guy should be out here any second to fire this thing up and they're gonna start figuring out where we we're actually drilling our first holes. This is pretty sketchy. This thing is very top heavy and it has metal tracks. The excavator we use has rubber tracks and so it doesn't slide as much on this rock and on these hills. This one though is, you can see he's going super slow because he's worried. He doesn't want to tip this thing. Woo! Yeah, I'm glad.
glad I'm not driving that right now. So the drill is right there, it's got a bit. It's gonna drill three inch wide holes. This thing is a dust uh, collector, so it actually like vacuums the dust all the way up and drops it back there just to get it out of the way. Um, and then it'll just drill and has a hammer up there. So it just hammer drills through the rock as it goes down. So you can see those pink dots on the ground, that's actually their markings where they're gonna actually drill. They put those holes like six to eight feet apart. There's actually some more you may be able to see right there on the dirt, but they've put holes, they measure it all out and put all the holes all the way across on that first pass. So they're gonna drill all those holes, they come up here, they drill holes here, they're gonna come up here, drill holes here, and they'll blow like everything from there to there on the first set. It's gonna take several days to get all this done, but I'm excited to see it, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, they showed me some videos of past ones they've done. This should be pretty cool. I mean, I, this doesn't look that hard. I feel like, I gotta get a hammer and a chisel, I can get through that, no problem. I don't know why we need to get this big machine. People just aren't as tough these days. drilling the first hole and it looks like it went pretty deep and took about 10 minutes to drill that deep hole. Not gonna say anything but only like 149 holes left to drill and uh, it's gonna be a bit. Giddy up partners. of these little like amp head looking things are from drilling so you can see we have a bunch of holes like that that I can't see the bottom of it goes very deep a lot of these like uh, little piles are just from where the dust was pulled out and put in a pile but yeah I mean, you can see that's just a straight up hole that's a hole that's a hole that's a hole and then there's a whole bunch of them down there so we got the excavator kind of flattened out what we could there so that it could get up there on level ground, drill all the holes back here, and then it came up here, drilled all the holes here, and what's crazy to me, so nuts, what's crazy to me is the holes they drilled here are enough that they're gonna bust that out, I guess, or at least crack it up enough that they'll be able to come in with an excavator, a dozer, pull all that solid block of rock. I mean, it is just a huge stone, and they're gonna come in and break it all up so you can get it out of here because our road needs to go right through that bananas more drilling to come we got to work our way all the way up this hill keep drilling holes so that we can come blast them this is nuts while they were drilling those holes today we were trying to put together the rest of this Fire truck trailer setup. Fire trailer setup. So you saw the tank. Since then we have done all of this. We have our water pump over there, which is the one I repaired the other day. Put a brand new pump on it. So water pump is here. Here's a hose reel right here that our nozzle goes onto. But we uh, spent some time thinking, made it a little fancier than that too. So you can fill it right here with a water hose. You can just put a hose in there. It'll take over an hour to fill up. Or we have a quick connect right there with a hose, a suction hose. We actually have some longer ones that I bought that are actually at the resort right now. You can throw the suction hose into a pond. For those who don't know how valves work, if the valve is in line with the pipe, it's open. If it's 
Going this way means it's closed. So right now, that valve's open. So you turn on the pump, it starts sucking, pulls water up in there, goes into the pump, goes through here, that one's closed, goes this way, that one's closed, so it pumps it back into the tank. So we can use our pump to pump high flow, two inch pipe into the tank, fill it up in like 10 minutes, which is really cool. Okay, now our tank's full, now what? You close this, you open, oh, one hand is hard, which way does it go? There, open that one. So now, when this pump is running, the water in here is still running the same way, but now it comes out of the tank. We don't need to go back in the tank, so that's closed. So now, it comes out of the tank here, and you can pick this way or this way. This way, if we open that valve, would go to this hose reel, we can put out a fire, we can water something specific. This one, if we open that up, it's gonna come back here to this T that we welded up, to this and this, and you can see those pipes, little black pipes just go straight up right there. And we're gonna put little nozzles on, we haven't put them on there because we're not sure how it's gonna work but we're gonna weld little nozzles on there. They will shoot water off the back of the trailer so we can drive it down a road to wet the road down, either for packing it or just to keep dust down. So that way we don't have to like sit there and have someone back there spraying. You just literally turn it on, it starts spraying water, and you just drive your truck down the road. So I saw it on another trailer, thought it looked really cool, so I kind of copied that idea. We just gotta put our nozzles on here. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna get this thing strapped down, and we're gonna head out to the resort, and they are gonna start blasting ASAP. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Will it work as good as it looks? We'll find out. This. We're gonna get a sunrise on the resort today. You are so lucky. And I made it here with the new trailer behind this beauty first gen. So my morning's going pretty stellar so far. Got a nice cool drive with the windows down because we don't have an air conditioner, but this thing doesn't need an air conditioner. It's cool all the time. The explosive boys are here and they have a big old truck with uh, a tank on the back, which I think is full of all the fertilizer fertilizer explosives this is gonna be a good day I actually think it's gonna be kind of underwhelming because the explosion is gonna happen underground and I've seen like buildings explode and trees explode and things like that and this is just kind of raise the dirt up a little bit but I don't know it might be cool we're gonna find out together also I was calling it dynamite earlier in the video because I thought it was dynamite but I think it is like some kind of fertilizer so I paid for dynamite and they are not gonna deliver. Ask him how much uh, of this stuff goes in each hole. These things are 14 feet deep. He said about a whole bucket, whole five gallon bucket of that stuff. That is a crazy amount, which is what you need to blow up rock. But we've got like 75 holes, which means 75 buckets of this stuff all going off at one time. All right, I'm gonna get back to carrying.
Holy cow, that's insane. I thought it would just kind of like all stay in the same spot, like break it all up. Jeez, yeah, that's why you can't dig through that solid rock. What's even crazier though is my GoPro is still here. This is our second GoPro. Man, there was like a six foot drop here before, and now there's like a 25 foot drop. Still recording. Holy cow, that's cool. So now we can get machines in here to start coming and digging that out. Look at, I mean, there's some huge rocks in there. This is nuts. There's a, some dead cord right there. Oh, there's a bunch of dead cord. You can see it all. I wonder if that stuff didn't explode or if that's what it looks like after it burns through. I feel like it would, that probably just didn't burn through. Dude, this is wild. What I didn't realize, I mean, I, I didn't know it was gonna dig such a huge trench here. I thought it would just kind of break it all up and it would just be cracked and we'd have to dig it all out. I definitely didn't realize it would pile it. That's, that's 10 to 15 feet taller than it was before. It moved it all out of this and put it there. Rocks did not come this way. They all went that way, which is by design. That's the way they planned it because they, that's the safe way, that's the downhill way. We were all on that side. So rocks all just pushed that way. They basically cracked the mountain and just pushed it all that way. And now we can come in from the downside of the road with an excavator and pearl and just start loading it up and taking it off. And we'll use all this material for our berms on the other part of the property. And then they'll bring that drilling rig back in here and they'll start working their way further up the road because we still need to knock all of this out because it's all rock too. And it needs to come down a lot to make our slope way more gradual. And that's what we got for you today. So uh, in the future on Demolition Ranch, we're gonna buy a Tannerite truck and uh, get a federal explosives license. And life's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so good. Thank you guys for watching. Um, more blasting to come on a future episode as we work our way up this hill, but we're gonna go ahead and end it here today. Thanks for watching. Renovating an abandoned resort. I love you, and I'll see you next time.